हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वाइन्स ब्रिज दिस ब्रिज इज बेसिकली इज ए फ्रीक्वेंसी मेजरिंग ब्रिज दिस ब्रिज में भी एम्प्लॉयड इन ए हार्मोनिक डिस्टोर्सन एनालाइज फेयर इट इज यूज एज नॉच फिल्टर डिस्क्रिमिनेटिंग अगेंस्ट वन स्पेसिफिक फ्रीक्वेंसी इट कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज इन ऑसिलेटर सर्किट्स टू डिटरमाइन द फ्रीक्वेंसी सो हियर इट इज द ब्रिज सो आज लाइक ऑल अदर ब्रिजेस इट आज ऑल्सो फोर आर्म्स हियर in the branch 1 or arm 1 we are having a parallel combination of r and c in branch 2 it should be a series combination of r and c branch 3 it is simple resistance r3 branch 4 it is r4 now first of all we have to write down the all the impedance values so the value of z1 though it is a parallel combination of r and c so we can write down here like this r1 into 1 by j omega c1 divided by r1 plus 1 by j omega c1 and it should be r1 by 1 plus j omega c1 r1 then z2 is a simple rc circuit series circuit so it should be r2 plus 1 by j omega c2 then if you will go for z3 and z4 both are resistive branches so z3 is equal to r3 and z4 is equal to r4 then we have to put these equations in balance condition so the balance condition equation is z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 so now we are putting all the values of z1 z4 z2 and z3 in this equation and we will solve this now by further solving after that fain we will equate the real parts here this is the real part this one and this one so we are equating this real parts here and from this we need to find out the frequency so for finding out the frequency we need the value of omega omega is the angular frequency and from that we have to find out the value of frequency where omega is equal to 2 pi f so here it is omega is equal to 1 by root over of r1 r2 c1 c2 and if we'll go for the frequency measurement it should be f is equal to 1 by 2 pi root over of r1 r2 c1 c2 this much or this is the unknown frequency that we can measure by using this wine bridge and what happen normally in all the bridges the parameters of this r1 and r2 and c1 and c2 are so chosen that r1 must be is equal to r2 that i can write down r and in case of c1 that must be is equal to c2 that i can write down c so we can write down further the value of frequency it must be 1 by 2 pi in place of r1 r2 i can write down r square in place of c1 into c2 i can write down c square whole root over or finally we can get the value of frequency is equal to 1 by 2 pi r c this is the value of frequency if the values of r r1 and r2 are same and c1 and c2 are same so we can find out the unknown frequency by using this balance condition equation and then the major thing that we need to draw the phasor diagram of this bridge phasor diagram of this bridge so as all of you know in my maxwell's inductance video i have told you that how we will draw the phasor diagram in a step by step manner so let's start so for drawing the phasor diagram we need to write down all the voltage and current equations first so first of all i have to write down the voltage equation means the value of e1 so if i will write down the value of e1 e1 is a parallel branch so e1 must be is equal to ir into r1 it is one branch again the another value of e1 is equal to ic into 1 by j omega c1 this is the value of e1 then if we will go for e2 e2 must be is equal to it is a series combination so it should be i2 into r2 plus i2 into 1 by j omega c2 this is the value of e2 then the value of e3 
it is a resistive branch so respective current that is i1 into the resistance that is I r3 so it should be i1 into r3 then if you will go for e4 it should be the respective current is i2 and the resistance is r4 i2 into r4 again the value of i1 so it should be ir plus ic or phasor sum of ir and ic is equal to i1 this is the branch one phasor sum of ir and ic is equal to i1 then at balance condition we know that e1 is equal to e2 e3 is equal to e4 and finally the value of the total emf or voltage is equal to e is equal to phasor sum of e1 and e3 or e2 and e4 e2 and e4 so this is the data we have to draw the phasor diagram of this wind switch so if you have your pen and paper so let's start with me the diagram so now i am taking ir as the reference if ir as the reference though you know here ir means e1 is equal to ir into r1 so ir and e1 it is a resistive branch so e1 must be in phase with ir so i can draw e1 here in phase with ir then e1 again is equal to ic into 1 by j omega c1 so obviously this ic will lead e1 by an angle 90 degree because it is a capacitive branch so if it is e1 i can draw ic here this is ic and we know that phasor sum of ir and ic will give us i1 so let's draw it this is the phasor sum ir plus ic will give us the value of i1 this is i1 again if this is i1 now we know that e3 is equal to i1 into r3 so the phasor relation of e3 and i1 they must be in the same phase because it is a resistive branch so if it is i1 i can draw e3 here maybe in phase with i1 we know that this same phasor e1 is equal to e2 this same phasor e1 is e3 is equal to e4 again the value of e4 is equal to i2 into r4 so i2 and e4 they also must be in phase because it is a resistive branch so if this is e4 if this is e4 i can draw i2 here in phase with e4 okay then last the last equation is e2 e2 is equal to i2 r2 plus i2 1 by j omega c2 so if we know i2 so i2 into r2 must be in phase with i2 because it is a resistive voltage drop so if it is i2 i can draw i2 r2 in phase with this means suppose it is here i2 into r2 then i2 into j omega c2 it is a capacitive voltage drop so if if it is a capacitive voltage drop the capacitive voltage drop will lag the respective current by an angle 90 degree so if this is i2 here must be here must be i2 into 1 by j omega c2 and we we have to satisfy that i2 r2 plus i2 into 1 by j omega c2 must be is equal to e2 so so here you can see it is i2 r2 and this is i2 1 by j omega c2 so the phasor sum of this two must be is equal to this e2 so now we got e1 e2 now we got e3 e4 so let's draw the total voltage it should be the phasor sum of e1 e3 and e2 e4 so here it is now this is the result total voltage e so now this is the 
Fedger diagram of Wines Bridge. In the next video, I will tell you about Wines Bridge. Thank you. If you like this lesson, give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button. Also remember to subscribe this channel by clicking the subscribe button to get my latest lesson right here on YouTube. Happy learning. I will see you in another lesson.